Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Tech Freaks Info. Today let's learn about auto cycle with the help of an animation over here as it's happening over here. So it's a pressure volume graph and also the piston movements will be taught over here. So the theoretical concept and the practical concept has a PV diagram, the pressure volume graph. Volume is in X axis and pressure is in Y axis. So in theoretical concept we believe that the cylinder is full of air which is practically not possible so in practical concept there is an air intake process happening from 1 to 2 initially the piston will be in top dead center and it gradually moves towards the bottom dead center as the air intake process progresses so you can see the piston moving down and the air intake process is progressing from 1 to 2 in the second stage you can see in the theoretical concept adiabatic compression of air is happening because piston moves from bottom dead center towards the top dead center see it happens over here so adiabatic compression means there is no heat transfer is involved theoretically we can say that but practically definitely there will be a heat transfer happening that's happening from two to three a uh, compression is happening but it also involves a heat transfer so it is not an adiabatic process in the practical concept so the piston moves from bdc towards tdc as the second stage completes and the third stage you can see that a constant volume combustion is happening from 2 towards 3 and the piston will be at top dead center so here you can see in the practical concept the uh, graph moves from 3 towards 4 like this and it's a constant volume combustion in theoretical concept and it is just a combustion in practical concept here you can see that this straight line is going directly towards the volume and the volume is constant that's why it's called a constant volume combustion it's also called as an isometric process constant volume processes are called as isometric process but here it's a not a constant volume process you can see how it waves from three to four in the practical concept so at the end of that stroke the piston will be at top dead center now here we can see that the other stroke uh, is an adiabatic expansion of air where the piston moves from top dead center towards the bottom dead center so three to four adiabatic expansion of air that means there is no heat transfer involved in the theoretical concept but in the practical concept there is heat transfer involved that is expansion of air happening from four towards five and the piston moves down towards the bdc so that's the end of that stroke now the last and final stroke which is the exhaust stroke now the piston moves from bottom dead center towards the top dead center for the exhaust stroke to happen so from four to one the exhaust is progressing you can see um, in the practical concept from five towards one the exhaust is progressing and exhaust ends from four to one in the theoretical concept and in five towards one in the practical concept you can see the piston movement we can reverse it and see it once again from bottom dead center the piston moves towards the top dead center so that's the theoretical and the practical concept of an auto cycle is happening it is in a uh, petrol engine of spark ignition engines i believe you uh, learned this topic so for more updates you can click the subscribe button so that you will get daily updates you can also like our facebook page or click the like button or do share uh, be sure that you post your comment for any doubts and also to motivate us thanks for watching have a great day